So, I was gonna give you a bedroom tour after I got my window treatment up, but I hated the result and I'm changing it, so you'll have to wait a little bit longer for that. Instead, I'll show you what I've done in the bathroom so far and my plans for the future in there. It's a good sized bathroom, bigger than the one I had at the house. It's also the laundry room and I love having them combined. When you enter from the hallway, the tub is on the left and the laundry area is on the right. At the front, there's a big mirror with deep tiled ledge underneath. One of my favorite organizing and tidying up tricks is to corral your clutter. Here in the bathroom, I corral some of my everyday things on this marble tray. Imagine it being all spread out over the surface. It would look so much more untidy. The tub. I'm not a soak in the tub kind of a girl. I think I bathed once in the tub I had installed at the house. And I've actually bathed twice here already, but I think the tub will have to go eventually. It's weird with the drain in the middle of it. I keep stepping on it and stopping it from draining, and since it doesn't have a good ledge, there's nowhere to put stuff. It just keeps falling into the tub with a bang. Speaking of things that fall into the tub with a bang, do you have any recommendations for shower caddies? I got this suction one, but no matter how I try, I can't get it to stick to the tile. Zip ties to the rescue, but it really annoys me. For the future, I envisage a glass shower wall and a nice little waterproof stool in there to hold my soaps and stuff. I reused the shower curtain I made in my first ever YouTube video here in this apartment. It was just a matter of adjusting the height of the curtain rod, which was great because I still love the grey cotton fabric. There's a white polyester liner behind and inside the tub that keeps the fabric one from getting wet. I'll leave the link below if you want to check out that video. At the other end of the shower curtain pole, I keep some clear plastic hangers. I use these for drying the few things that don't go in the dryer. Things dry quickly in here and I can fold them soon after, so I never feel like I'm walking into a drying rack when I enter the bathroom. Use all the same hangers and it will look neat and tidy always. And we like neat and tidy, right? Oh, I also switched out the shower head handle. The water pressure was so bad before, but with the new handle it's actually pretty good. I could have descaled the old one, but I prefer a stick handle, so that's what I got. Next to the tub there are a couple of hooks. I'm sure they're intended for towels, but I use them to hang some longer cleaning tools. I picked nice looking ones, so I don't mind having them out in the open. I highly recommend you check out Muji's cleaning tools, which are both beautiful and practical. The mop is from there and I also have a scrubber head that goes on the same stick. The floors in here are checkered black and white tiles, not something I would have picked myself, but I like the look. Black is tricky though because you can see every little speck on there, so I'm constantly mopping in here. I already had the small round cotton bath mat, so I got a bigger size too. I like that they're round, because that means they're never not straight. Tip. There's supposedly underfloor heating in here, but it doesn't seem to work. They're coming to check on it within a month or so, but meanwhile I keep the towel bar heater on all the time. I retired my old bath towels when I moved. After a stint with some really plush ones that I didn't like because they were too thick and plush, I got these waffle weave ones instead. They're a bit of an odd size, really long and quite narrow, but I love using them. Underneath the towel heater I keep my laundry baskets. They're the same ones I used at the house and I sort white in one hamper and colored in the other. So practical to have them in the bathroom where I usually get undressed anyway. That leads me to the laundry side of things. I have side by side washer and dryer. They're a smaller size than I'm used to, but that just means I need to do an extra load now and then. Above there's a countertop and I try to keep it as cleared off as possible. I do keep laundry detergent out and it's a great place to fold things. But it's also Minnie's favorite spot to hang out. For her, I keep a folded towel and the latest t-shirt or nightgown I've worn, which she likes to snooze on top of. 
Oh, and if she gets really spooked, her hiding place is in that super narrow space behind the washer and dryer. She's not called Minnie for nothing. I also keep my nested white tubs up here. And in there, there are some things that I'm working on, like these window ceiling strips and some parts for the toilet and faucet that I need to fix. A towel on top and you can't see them if you don't want to. Above there's a double cabinet. I'll show you how it's organized in a separate video further down the line. I'm not sure about the wood doors. My intention in this apartment has been to introduce a bit more wood than I have in the past, but I feel this is not the greatest wood tone. It's quite an orangey yellow which I'm not a huge fan of. I might sand them down and stain them a softer shade. On top I keep an extra set of bath mats, hand towels and toilet paper. And there you have it, my bathroom slash laundry room. Don't forget to like this video if you did and subscribe for more room tours and organizing ideas. See you in the next one.